When looking at a refrigerator PT chart, you'll notice that some of the refrigerants have a single column and some of the refrigerants have a dual column. In looking at this chart, for example, 407A has a liquid pressure and a vapor pressure. Why is that? And what do we use them for? That's what we're going to look at in this video today. I know the last thing that you want to think about doing is putting another app on your phone. But one app that is very useful to a technician is the Danfoss Refrigerant Slider app. This application that you can download from Danfoss and put on your phone gives you all the refrigerants right in the palm of your hand. So if you don't have a PT chart for the particular refrigerant that you're working on, you can choose from the refrigerants that are loaded into this application. And then you can use the slider or you can use the type in process to look at whatever pressure or temperature that you're looking at for your particular refrigerant. It's a very useful application and I recommend that you download it on your phone. So the reason you have double columns for some refrigerants on your PT chart is because some refrigerants are classified as a zeotrope mixture which means that it is a blended mixture of two or more refrigerants. The R454B refrigerant that is coming to the market soon is a mixture of R32 at 68.9% and R1234YF at 31.1%. And it has a temperature glide of 1.5. So it is a mixture and so it needs to be handled as a mixture. We'll talk about that in a minute. So let's take a look at R22, which only has a single column on a pressure temperature chart. So therefore, it's an azeotrope refrigerant, which means it is a single component refrigerant, and it has no temperature glide. But then let's look at R410A. It has a single column, but it is a zeotrope. But we have said for very long that the R410A refrigerant has a very slight temperature glide, and so therefore we treat it as a near azeotrope, and it can be topped off, and we treat it like a single component refrigerant. So the temperature glide refers to a refrigerant blend that has a range of boiling points and or condensing points throughout the evaporator and condenser. The diagram on the left shows the single component or azeotrope refrigerants and that they have the same temperature where they are a subcooled liquid and a superheated vapor. On the right, the non-azeotrope blends show that there is a glide that between the subcooled liquid and the superheated vapor, there is a range of temperature where the refrigerant is either boiling off or is condensing back into a liquid. So using our refrigerant slider, we're going to show the slight difference and the slight glide that we see on R454B. On the dew point side of the PT chart, which we use for our superheat reading, you'll notice that at this pressure, the temperature of our refrigerant is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. On the other side, on the bubble column, which we use for subcooling, the, the temperature of the refrigerant at the same pressure is 37.69. So we have a very slight difference between the temperature between dew point and bubble point. So as we look at our refrigeration cycle, You'll notice that we are, when we're going through our evaporator and our refrigerant is a liquid entering the evaporator, and as it absorbs the heat, it evaporates and becomes a vapor, saturated vapor at the exit, which is our superheat. So on our PT chart, we want to be using our dew point column to calculate our superheat coming out of our evaporator. Whereas on the other side, where our high pressure gas is entering the condenser, 
and the vapor condenses into a liquid at the end of the condenser. This is our subcooling or saturated liquid. And to take our subcooling reading, we want to use the bubble point on our PT chart. So just remember that on a lot of your PT charts, you're going to have zeotrope blends that have a very slight glide, such as R410A. And as we've said for many years, R410A can be treated as a near azeotrope mixture. And therefore, if there is a leak on the system, it can be topped off. And you don't have to be concerned about the different rates at which the different refrigerants will leak. So some of your preliminary charts that have been released for R454B show a liquid pressure and a vapor pressure chart for this new refrigerant. But R454B is considered a near azeotropic refrigerant, which means that it can be topped off like R410A. With a true blended refrigerant, a zeotrope, if there is a leak, you must recover the entire charge and recharge with virgin refrigerant. Total temperature glide is the temperature difference between the saturated vapor temperature and the saturated liquid temperature at a constant pressure. R410A temperature glide is 0 0.3 degrees Fahrenheit. R32 has no glide and R1234YF has no glide. These are the two refrigerants that make up R454B so therefore, R454B will have little to no glide. Go to arefco.com for more videos. Like, subscribe, and check back every week for new videos.